Hi, everybody. This will be a controversial take. And if you want to read a transcript of this video, you can find it on my Substack newsletter. The metaverse is open. A common reaction against AI art is that people producing AI generated works have not put in the effort. That raises the question about the definition of art. But addressing the de definition of art raises an even more complex set of questions. Who gets to define what is art? Who gets to label this person or that person as an artist? The word art is thrown out too often in vague manners. Let's break art down into an, an equation. The elements of process mapping to a set of values. The not putting the effort arguments against AI-generated images hits on the importance of process. I'm strongly in favor of thinking about art as a process of creativity. The creative process and the skills and tools applied to a medium that transform the substance of that medium. The output of this process is a work of creativity. Is that output art? That distinction, that label of art is irrelevant to the process of creativity. The label of art is applied to the values resulting from the process. Values are applied to creative works. We can break the concept of value into at least two forms of appreciation, aesthetics and commercial. Aesthetics are subjective appreciations of a work that brings out a pleasurable enjoyment from viewing the work. Very often that sensation is momentary and fleeting. Aesthetics are a deep area of philosophical thought that spans centuries. And I am intentionally glossing over aesthetics for this approximately 700 word video. If individuals utilizing AI find value in the process and enjoyment from their output, then that's enough. But that's not really the argument against the value of AI art. The anxiety over AI art is about the commercial value of the images. An aspect of the commercial value of art is the market value. Most often we think of the very expensive masterpieces of art, both historic and contemporary. The key term is market value. The market determines the value of art. High-end work selling for over $100,000 in the millions of dollars is an artificial market manipulated by investors, galleries, dealers, and auction houses that all profit from increasing the perceived value of a work. AI art is not a threat to the high-end art market. The more dominant aspect of the commercial value of art is the vocational value of art. People who make a living from creating images are facing an existential financial crisis from the rise of AI art. Yet, for instance, in the area of concept art, these livelihoods are based on producing images, mostly through digital methods, that serve a purpose that serve as a step in the production process of making video games, movies, and other types of digitally mediated storytelling. The imagery is a means to an end. Generating images through algorithms as a production process is simply another step in automation. The constant with AI, as with any form of technology, is that some skills become replace with new tools while other skills and career opportunities emerge. The value that individuals bring to the vocational nature of art is how well they adapt to producing images for a specific industry that compensates the creators for those images. As a career, artists producing images for commerce will need to adapt to this invasive species of AI art in order to survive financially. We have seen that adaptation time and time again as new tools 
lower the barrier to entry. As a career, artists producing images, either through traditional analog methods or digital methods for intrinsic purposes, will need to continue to build their brand, their reputation, and their audience if they want to make of an income from that. Indeed, technology like social media has enabled many more people to make a living from their creative pursuits than ever before in history. As a hobby, AI art expands creativity to millions more people. Expanding creativity is never a bad thing. As an artistic medium, AI creates new forms of artistic expression. We are still in the very early stages of the AI artistic evolution or revolution. This year of 2023 is going to be incredible. The next decade will bring even more changes. Learn to adapt and make AI work for you and not against you. AI is not going anywhere. So hang on and learn to make it work for you. If you're listening this far, I'd be interested in hearing your comments. I know some people would disagree with me. Some people will agree. That's okay. It's okay to disagree. It's okay to have a conversation, have a discussion. And that's a lot more deeper issues and discussions and conversations that society needs to have about artificial intelligence and its role and place in society and in our careers. It's a really big topic. Meanwhile, enjoy creating images, whether you do it through AI, whether you use digital tools like Procreate or Photoshop, or whether you use traditional pen and paper. I still like to draw pen and paper and pencil and paper and sketch, but I also like AI art. Have a great start in the new year. Take care, everybody.